Welcome to the Unique Insurance Company Diamond Web Portal Tutorial Video. The first screen we see is the UniqueInsuranceCO.com website. In order to access our web portal, you'll want to click on Become a Broker, and then in the top left, Log In. You'll be taken to our welcome screen where you want to enter in your producer username and password. If for whatever reason you do not have this information, please contact the Unique Marketing Department. You'll see there's a box that you can check for Remember Me. By doing so, your information will automatically save. Once in our website, in order to quote a new policy, you'll want to go to Quotes and New Quote. The first screen is the Submit screen. You'll want to enter in the information that has a red asterisk to the left of it. You'll want to make sure the effective date is tomorrow's date. The policy is bound as of the time it's issued. However, the effective date is the subsequent day. After entering in the state, your agency information will automatically generate. We offer six month, 12 month, and term policies for less than six month and less than 12 months. After clicking submit, You'll begin the quick quote process. You'll see under quote type where it says quick quote. We're eventually going to move over by clicking next on each of the different tabs. and We'll move on to the new application portion of the process. You'll see in the top left is the insured's name. Underneath that, in this case the QILP4234 is the quote number. Should you have any issues in the quoting process, you could contact our underwriting department and refer to that number. Again, you'll want to enter in the information that has an asterisk next to it. If the insured had previous insurance, you'll enter it under the prior carrier information tab. As long as the insurance was effective within the past 30 days, you'd want to make sure you had entered yes for the transfer discount. Again, you're going to want to hit Next to cycle through each tab. Once in Drivers, you'll click Add a Driver, and then select for policyholder number one. You don't need a driver's license number in order to get a quote. However, you will need it to issue the policy. Driver's license date will automatically generate given the birth date. And under license status is where you could enter if the driver was non-licensed, out-of-state license, or international license, etc. The second tab under drivers is where you'll want to put in the occupation of the driver. Again, this information is not needed for a quote, but would be needed to issue the policy. The third tab, filing information, is where you'd input for an SR-22. In the case there was an SR-22 on the policy, you would want to make sure under SR-22 filing, you have no charge selected. None of the other tabs are necessary for that. Fourth tab is accidents and violations. The two main things you want to have filled out under accidents and violations are the type and the date of the violation or accident. Once you have all that information, you can click Next. Under Vehicles, you want to click Add Vehicle. You can either look up vehicle information by entering the year and make to look up a list of models, or if you have the vehicle VIN, you could input that and have the information automatically generated. In this case, you'll see to the left of the type of vehicle, there'll be a button that says Select. Once you've clicked Select, 
the information for that vehicle will automatically generate. The second tab under vehicles is where you would put in lien holder information. And the third tab is where you'd put in garaging information if it was different from the insured's address. The next tab is for vehicle coverages. You'll want to make sure that you take note of the select button to the left of the vehicle. For multiple vehicles on a policy, you'll want to click select to change for each vehicle. Second tab under coverages is where you could put legal expense coverage if so requested for the insured. The final tab is the view quote tab within the quick quote. You can look over the policy information to make sure everything is correct. You can also view payment options. You can also take note that in the top right, you have the ability to save and exit the quote at any time and come back to it at a later date, or you can cancel the quote as well. Click Apply to move on to the new application. Once in the new application, you'll want to make sure that all the information is in place. To navigate through each of the tabs, you're again going to click Next. If you have any incorrect information in place, you'll be stopped when navigating through each tab. Under billing information, you want to make sure you have the correct method for your agency, whether it be direct bill or agency bill, and the pay plan. The policy underwriting questions are fairly standard. And the final screen of the quoting process before issuing the policy says View Quote. Again, you can look up payment information by clicking on the View Payment Options. To proceed, you click Submit. For a direct bill payment, you'll want to enter in the down payment amount. That information is grayed out for you under Amount. Once that information is in place, you can click Submit Payment. And then Confirmation. After having issued the policy, you'll see a button that has the policy number on it. You'll want to click on that button. And then you'll get a breakdown of the policy that has just been issued. In order to print documents on the policy, you'll want to go to the Print History tab. And under Print History, you'll see the deck pages, ID cards, etc., with one copy for the agency and one copy for the insured. This concludes the Diamond Web Portal tutorial video for quoting and issuing policies. Please contact Unique's Marketing Department for any questions with the process. Thank you.